At seven in the morning someone knocks on my door. It's my boss. He says hey dude I have bad news. We had to let you go. Please give me your work laptop and your office key. We learned from our past experience that it's better to make it really quick without talking or anything. It's sad but you will get over it. He hands me the cancelled contract and leaves. Apparently the company lost a lot of money and has to let go many people especially the ones in trial period. Nobody warned me or said a single word. I was there for five months and my onboarding was already finished. My friends at work were extremely confused and sad. I'm still getting paid for two weeks and then I'm jobless and need money from the government. Next week I would have vacation which I already paid for. I now have a gap in my resume because it's impossible to find a new job so quickly. Edit I got convinced that the gap is no big deal. Thanks for all the comments it really helped me and made me happy. I lose a lot of money for basically no reason and if I didn't have savings I would lose my car and maybe more. Trust nobody and always have at least two month worth of money in your account for moments like these. Don't use exact dates on your resume, just month and year. It's 9 2023 now and it's the middle of the month. Even if it takes six weeks to find a new job, you can just put your new start date as 10 2023. You don't won't have a gap. A gap is six months to a year depending on the person and industry. Taking a few months to find a new job because your old company couldn't budget won't be an issue. People lose jobs for all sorts of reasons, many outside their control and the older you get the more apparent this becomes. You aren't alone. Take that vacation. File for unemployment. Fuck a resume gap. Just make up some position during the gap. Freelancer or I was being subcontracted. You will bounce back. File for unemployment now, because that can be a process. Resume gaps are stupid. Can you explain this gap in your resume? Yes, that is a period of time that I was not working. I went on a trip and spent time with my family. Don't worry about that gap. I personally would take vacation, look for jobs, and apply poolside. This could be a blessing in disguise. So sorry you're going through this. Frankly the idea of gaps on a resume being a red flag is frightening as hell to me. This is exactly why companies don't deserve a two-week notice. If they won't even grant you the same so you can get your stuff together and work with your landlord then fuck em. Why is a gap in a resume a bad thing I had a fucking holiday in between work like a normal human would? Unemployment is paid for by yourself. You pay for it to exist when you work. It is not a handout from the government. Who the fuck can save two months of money for when you get fucked like this? Cause I know it ain't me. Of all the mess I've read on this sub, this one is up there. Coming to your house is overstepping to say the least and feels like it should be illegal. I'm glad you have some savings and hope you can still take the vacation. The fact that companies don't like to see gaps in resumes, but then you also have to hide your job hunting from your current employer, is an indicator of how NIMBY society is. You don't have a gap in your resume. You're a freelancer. Or caretaker for a relative. Or exploring alternate career paths. Lots of people here have authoritative sounding voices and would be more than happy to be your reference. I have no compunction about lying about things like that our employment processes here in the states are beyond broken, and if I gotta tell some harmless lies so I can eat, so be it. If by money from the government, you mean unemployment benefits, that's not money from the government. That's an insurance policy that your company paid for. You're entitled to that money. Honestly, I wouldn't mind being let go like that, especially if you have a longer commute. Now I didn't waste hours out of my day getting ready and stuff only to get fired 30 minutes into the shift. Yeah, it's a bit weird that they showed up at your place at 7am, but they also respected you enough to do it in person instead of over a phone call. A gap in my resume. That really no longer matters. Relax. 
the last time that sort of thing mattered was during the time frame that Mad Men took place. Back then, you could have graduated high school and then worked at one company for the rest of your life. That stuff died in the 80s, thanks to Reagan Thatcher. Get off my property or I'm calling the police. It's so fucking crazy to me how folks actually care about resume gaps. The team I worked for needed to hire to replace me since I was promoted. They would gripe about a couple months gap at resumes. I would try and temper them but someone drilled in into these old heads that gaps bad person for some reason. I really hope this cultural norm dies. My resume is filled with gaps. Intentionally. Do not treat it like it is some issue. It's sabbatical. Wait till they go bankrupt then you and you friends can add another three years of work experience. Then use each other to corroborate each other's experience. Winner. Now have a gap in my resume. Never tell the whole truth on a resume. Or in an interview. This is why I think giving a company two weeks is bullshit. This idiot is going to get hurt bad showing up at people's homes. With this shitty. Your idea of a resume gap is crazy. A resume gap is like coming back from three years of not working with no explanation given. Being out of work for a few weeks or months while you look for a new job is very normal. If my boss showed up at my door he would be leaving with the work laptop up his ass. Not sure why everyone is stressing about a gap in a resume. Don't be that slave to a piece of paper now. Your mental and physical health is more important than stressing about something that don't give two cents about you. Pretend you are still working. I have been in this situation. Act as though you're still there and you will have more weight behind your negotiation, otherwise they'll know you're desperate and try to lowball. You don't have a gap in your resume. You were on sabbatical. If they ask what you did, make something up. Use phrases like recharging and spending some quiet time in the woods and catching up on my reading by the seashore. Always have at least two months worth of money in your account for moments like these. Once you do this, you also have the ability to walk out of toxic situations, especially the ones where they make you train your own replacement. Always have money saved for just such an occasion. I now have a gap in my resume. Okay, and? That's completely irrelevant. This is exactly why the whole two-week notice bullshit can get shoved where the sun don't shine. They didn't give a fuck about you and cut you loose the second you no longer served a purpose. I give 24-hour notice at most. Also this trash about a gap in your resume. What if someone just wanted to take a break for a while and not work? I came into some money back in 2011 and stopped six months and got no end of grief from the very place that said, they would hire me back when I was ready to come back, about the gap. No one is going to care about a gap unless it's years where your skill set would have had time to lag behind advances in the field. Get your unemployment checks going, enjoy your vacation, and find something new. You do not owe any employer honesty about your employment dates FYI. Friendly reminder if anyone has gaps they need to fill with management experience I'm always available to pose as your former manager at Circuit City where you were a floor manager, inbox if needed. Honestly. Much as I wanted to hate this. This is okay. 1. You saved a trip to work. 2. You're getting paid for two weeks severance amazing since you're there under a year. 3. It's a layoff, not a firing you'll get a good reference. Good luck man you'll do fine. The gap in your employment is easy to explain. My employer was experiencing economic hardship and since I was relatively new with them I was the first to go. It happens more than you think. In no way does it say anything negative about your work ethic. Any new employer will understand this.